Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to look at the steps to install the Windows subsystem for Linux or WSL on Windows 11 and on Windows 10 since the steps are virtually the same. Okay, let's go on to the steps to install WSL on your computer. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Now, before proceeding, it's important that hardware virtualization is turned on on the BIOS of your computer. And since it's different on each computer, it is best to check your computer manufacturer to know how to access the BIOS on your computer and then turn on that feature and then you can proceed with installation of WSL. First, we're going to look at the steps to install WSL through command prompt or PowerShell. I do recommend using PowerShell to do this. First, open the start menu and look for command prompt, PowerShell, or the terminal. I like to use the terminal, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to right click on it and select the run same serial option. And then in this case, I'm going to open a PowerShell session. And technically, the only command that we have to use is WSL dash dash install. This command should be able to download all the components and enable all the features necessary to install WSL on your computer. Now, by default, this command will also install the Ubuntu distribution of Linux. If you want a different distro installed by default, after running this command, I'm going to show you that other command to do that. Now, to run the command, simply press enter. And now the command is going to enable the required components. And now it's going to proceed to install the Windows system for Linux. And finally, it's going to download and install the Ubuntu distribution, which is the default behavior. Now, to complete this setup, we're going to need to restart the computer. Now, after restarting the computer, if you selected to install the default behavior for WSL, the Ubuntu console is going to open automatically on the desktop to finish the setup. Now, if for any reason you run into the error code 14107, one thing you can do is to enable the virtual machine platform manually. And to do that, you need to open start and go to turn on Windows features on and off and make sure to check the virtual machine platform and then click the install button. And once this feature is installed, restart the computer and then run the WSL install command one more time and it should be able to install normally. Also, if the Ubuntu console in this case is stuck installing, if it's been a few minutes, you can press enter to see if you get the next screen, which in this case is to create an account for that WSL or that distribution of Linux. So I'm going to create an account and then I'm going to create a password. We successfully installed WSL on Windows 11. Now, if you notice that I had the WSL nested virtualization is no support on this machine, that's actually a message because I'm using VMware Workstation. Now, if you're using a router computer, you're likely not to see this message. Now, if you want to install WSL with and a specific distribution, this is what you do. Open start and look for command prompt, terminal, or PowerShell. I'm going to look for the terminal. I'm going to run this as an administrator. And then you can run this command to view all the available distribution of Linux that you can install with WSL. And the command that you want to use is WSL dash dash install space dash D for distribution and then the distribution name. For this test, I'm just going to install Debian. You can type it as you see it right here and then press enter. Now we're going to create a username and a password. And that's it. We install a specific distribution of Linux with WSL. Now, if for some reason WSL is out of date and you want to force the update manually for the platform, what you can do is to run the WSL dash dash update command and then press enter. If there are any updates, it will download and install automatically. Now, if you want to install WSL on Windows 11 or Windows 10 without using commands, you can do the following. Open start and look for turn Windows features on and off and then open the settings page. In here, make sure to check the virtual machine platform and the Windows subsystem for Linux. And then just click OK and restart the computer. I just did that, so now I'm going to restart the computer. 
Now, it is important to note that even though the Microsoft Store option should enable and install all the required components, you may still need to turn on the virtual machine platform and the Windows Subsystem for Linux modules manually. Otherwise, you might run into errors such as the code 1407 and the 0x84032D. So I do recommend that you turn on this feature before trying to set up WSL on your computer. Now, to install WSL on your computer, open your web browser and go to this website. Then click the install button. Click the install button again. And now the platform is installed on your computer. Now, the last step is to install a distribution of Linux. To do that, open star and look for the Microsoft Store and open the app. And here you can type WSL or type the distribution that you want to install. Uh, for example, I'm going to look for Debian. And then in here, just click the install button. Now click the open button. And now the distribution is already installed and running on your computer. And that's it. Those are the two different ways that you can install WSL on Windows 11 and on Windows 10. If you want to fully remove the platform from your computer, check in the video description that I have another video on how to perform this action. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.